on tables of reciprocals and square roots. The question is here. Use the tables of reciprocals and square roots to evaluate. 3 divided by 0 0.521 plus the square root of 0 0.4036. Let's go to the solution. So we're going to begin by getting the reciprocal. This is where we shall find the reciprocal, where we have 3 divided by 0 0.521. And then for the square root uh, tables, this is where we shall use the square root tables. So we begin with these. So to get the reciprocal of this number, we normally split these. We don't get the reciprocal of the numerator, that is 3. So we do split it like this. So we'll have a 3. Then we will remain with 1 divided by, this will be 0 0.5 to 1. Then plus, we have the square root of 0 0.4 Zero three six. So this is what we get the reciprocal. We're interested in this, so we don't get the reciprocal of three. We just get the reciprocal of uh, the denominator here. So when you look at the tables of reciprocals, we given numbers from one to nine point nine nine. So we have to write this one in standard form. So this is what you shall have. So three. Then we will have 1 divided by, so write this one in standard form, we shall have it as 5.21 times 10 raised to power negative 1, like that. Then for the square root again, we need to be very keen here, we have to, for the tables of square roots, we are given the tables, uh, in the tables of square roots, square roots of numbers beginning from 1 all the way to 99. So we need to write this one uh, in standard form again. But when you're writing this one, we need to be very keen. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you why. For instance, if you write it, if you write this one as 4.036 times 10 raised power negative 1, and you're getting the square root, this one will not work. It will give you problems. Why? Because you, it is possible to get the square root of 4.036 from the tables of square roots, but it is not possible to get the square root of 10 raised to power negative 1. 10 raised to power negative 1 is the same as 1 over 10. It's difficult to get the square root of that. So what you do, you have to think of how you're going to write this number, because from the tables of square roots, we give it the square root of numbers from 1 all the way to 99. So you think of the other way of writing it. And uh, definitely, you'll notice um, the best way to write it will be 40.36, because this one is still there, the table. Then multiply by 10 raised to the power negative 2. So like that. By writing it like this, now it is possible to get the square root of 40.36 from the table and also 10 raised to the power negative 2. 10 raised to the power negative 2 is the same as 1 divided by 100, which will be easier to get the square root. Now from there, uh, now we proceed. So we have 3. Then we get the reciprocal of 5.21. 5.21 from the table. 5.21. 5.21 from the table. So tables of the tables of square root. Zium. So we have the tables of square root. Uh not the square root. That we have the tables of reciprocals here. So the tables of reciprocals you can see. So we go up to where we have five point five point two one. We want five point two one. So five point two one. 5.21 this is the column we have one so this is the number so the number that you require will be here so this is the number 5.21 we have 0 0.1919 so 0 0.1919 so uh, after getting that so we indicate it here So zero, the reciprocal of 5.21 is 
zero point one nine one nine. Multiply by the reciprocal of ten raised to a negative one. The reciprocal of ten raised to a negative one. Ten raised to a negative one is the same as one divided by ten. And what is the reciprocal of one over ten? It will be ten over one, which is equals to ten. So the reciprocal of ten raised to a negative one is ten, like that. Then plus. We go to the tables of square roots and get the square root of 40.36, 40.36, square roots. Um, so here we have the tables of square roots. We have uh, 40.36. So 40. So you can see we have uh, from 10, all the way, so we need 40.36, 40.36. So this is how we get it, 40.3, is here. So 40.3 will be, yeah, so four, this will be 6.3482, 6 that. 6 that is why we have uh, 40.3, but we have to proceed to the other column where we have add, we have to proceed to the other column, we have add. And we go straight up to where we have. Uh, we are remaining with six, so six from six forty point. We go down. We move down. We move down. We move down up to where we shall have. Uh, so the number that we should add is forty-seven. So we add forty-seven to that. We add forty-seven. To that is what we give nine. Two, five, three, six. So when you add, so forty point three got six point three four eight two. Then we went to six column. We added, so we have six point thirty five twenty nine. So that is what we have there. So we have the square root of uh, forty point three six on this one is a six point three five. Nine. Then the square root of ten raised to a negative two. Ten raised to a negative two. We read it here. Ten raised to a negative two is the same as one over one hundred. And what is the square root of one over one hundred? It is uh, one over ten. One over ten. And one over ten is the same as ten raised to a negative one. As simple as that. So now you can work out this. So multiply three, multiply by uh, zero point one nine one nine times ten. When you multiply that, you will get uh, five. So for this one, you get five point seven five seven. When you multiply the whole of these, then plus. Uh, 6.3529 times 10 raised to the negative 1, you get 0 0.63529. So when you add, you add the 2, uh, 5.757 plus 0 0.63529, you will get a 6.39229. And uh, Writing these on four significant figures, you'll have 6.3923. That is how you're supposed to solve that question.